All right, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to use um, the sequencer. Now, I already gave you a small example of what to do, but there's a lot more to, the, to this. So what you're going to do is go ahead and click on the next instrument, and you'll notice our sample is gone. But what we can do is click on the sample and then press load. And this will do the same thing. It'll just load us a thing. And you can go ahead and find your whatever. Um, I might add in a clap or a snare. Here, let's do a snare. Um, so, yes, this is like a dubstep snare. So, I know, it's going to sound weird. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, this is just a dubstep snare. So, um, and, uh, yeah. So, we're going to be going through how to use the sequencer, how to use the tempo, speed, and patterns. So, go to BPM, and let's make this a little bit slower to, like, maybe 105. Now, let's listen. Now, another extension to how to use the sample editor is, like I said, you can um, make the volume quieter, so, like, something like that. That works. I um, mean, for the kick drum, I don't think I like this kick drum. So, what we can do is then just click load and this will allow you to overwrite your previous sample so let's do edm bass drum let's see okay don't really like that one what about edm bass drum 2 instead of 10 um here let's have a listen okay that's better that is definitely better so now let's take a listen okay not bad um, okay, so that's what we do there. Okay, so of course our snare isn't named, so let's go ahead and name that snare. Um, and let's go ahead and add in a lead. So there's two things you can do. You can either add in another sample, or just click on the sample and then click on sample editor. Now this won't let you do anything. Um, when you click here, uh, if you try and go to generators, uh, it won't work because the sample is blank. So instead, what you have to do is you have to click new. Now this will allow you to, to create uh, a long sample, however long you want it, and um, then go to generators and then do something like that. Uh, so here we go. And it's kind of loud, so we can do, so then we press 50%. And there you go. So we can do that once again if you want. There, that's better. So um, this is our thing, and you can zoom in, out, uh, highlight, uh, select, you know, kind of that deal. Um, and that's what that does. So, and like I said, this is um, the lead sample. So let's name it lead, and same thing for the instrument so that we don't get confused lead and then we can go ahead and like i mentioned in my last video um to place in notes you just press in notes on the keyboard and that will uh so like this so you can just Edit the note as as it's going, okay. Okay. Let's have a listen. Okay, so that doesn't sound bad. Okay, so what we're going to do is, let's say we wanted this into another pattern. So we're going to select this all, then right-click and press copy. Then up here where it says pattern, press plus, and this will bring us to a brand new pattern. Press shrink to make it the same size as our last one, and then go to the very beginning to make sure that the notes are aligned correctly, and click Paste. Now, I'm not sure what porous paste means. Like I said, certain things, I don't know what they do, um, so I'm not going to go through them, but um, yeah. 
So let's do a base. So let's do a base, and I think I'm going to name it base. Makes sense. Um, so then let's go ahead and press sample editor, um, like we did before. Um, do the same thing, click new, and let's make it the same length. Um, let's do a sawtooth, and let's do the same thing. But, you know what, let's actually make it a little bit, um, let's do it a little bit lower pitch. So let's do 64. 64 periods. Okay, that works. Um, ooh, what did that do? Uh, what? <laughs> what did that just do? I'm so confused what that just did. Uh, oh, that's what that did. That made it really high-pitched. Okay, 64, and there we go, so volume 50%, there. So then we can go ahead and close out of this, and there we go. So let's do the same thing here. Now what you can do is go into Instrument Editor, is you can have things loop. So I actually go into Sample Editor, and just press forward and then go back to the instrument editor and let's do a little bit of um decaying here okay so i think that works oh what happened well, that just happened. Oh well. Um. Uh oh. I think something happened here, guys. Oops. Okay. What happened? Okay. Well, here. Let's listen. Nothing happened. Okay. So we can see that it's not playing this exact pattern. So what we need to do is go to the thing up here and click insert. Now, this will do the same thing, but then just press plus, and this will give us pattern one. So, here, let's have a listen. Oh, here, let's go to... Let's do... Ooh. Okay, so then what we can do is we can go ahead and select and copy. So let's click copy, then go to here and paste. And then do the same thing over and over till we hit the end. So let's paste it. And oh, what happened here? Okay. Um Okay, we're good. Um I'm not sure why I was doing that. So here, let's have a listen. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I think that will do it for our second Milky Tracker tutorial. Next tutorial, I will probably get into how to use effects when I find out how. And, um, in the meantime, I might post a couple more Black MIDI videos and maybe some gaming videos. But, uh, without further ado, guys, I'm sorry, I gotta go right now. But I will see you all in the next one. Deku dude, out! Oh, and wait a minute, let's go ahead and save it. And let's save it as... Oh, why is it there? Um, here, let's go to my Milky Tracker. Um, okay, here we go. Songs, and then... Tanner. Let's name it Untitled. That works. Tanner. Hold on a minute, guys. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. Sorry about that. My mom was calling me. But yeah, I gotta go. Anyways, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Da cool dude, out.